Guardian Act, not too spooky. With Clad, we'll need a couple block cards. Early shops abound. 250 gold starts can be mighty powerful. Costs us current health, which is a little discouraging. But we've got the much vaun vaunted? Much valued optionality. I'd like to call, when we can take multiple different paths, depending on how strong we got or didn't get. If we get super strong at the shop, take an elite, maybe even two. If we don't get what we're looking for, we can consider resting here if we have to. Fewer combats, more of a focus on the boss. Of course, problem is if I can't fight these elites, I'm not getting anything. Also, fighting these two elites means no more elites the rest of the act. Elite placement here is a little odd, a little off. I played Vault of the Void. I played a little bit of it. I hear it's getting its full release pretty soon. Might have to take a look at that. I mean, there's a lot of a lot of deck builder-ish games in or coming out of early access. Uh, Cross the Obelisk is another one. Don't really like these starting bonuses, so it'd be either 250 gold or take the boss swap. I'd rather have the gold. Give me the money. Give me the gel worm. Definitely gonna play one strike here. Gel worm's never a completely free fight. Not now, not ever. Nine, nine, nine. That gets there, right? That's right. Good point. Get a bit of a heal off the Jawworm. That's definitely encouraging. Searing Blow. No, this is not a Searing Blow seed. I like Searing Blow in situations where I have four or more guaranteed upgrades for the rest of the act. We're a little bit shy here, and I think this card would fall behind the curve, probably. What I'm much happier with as a first card here is Headbot. Nine damage and a little bit of card manipulation, letting us put an important card, whether it be Defend, Strike, Bash, what have you, on top of the deck. Searing is just win, right? You wish. You wish it was that easy to just face roll with Searing Blow, but it's really not. Not if you can't get it upgraded enough times. More health loss, huh? Fighting Guardian, I'll remove a Strike. I don't have to like it, though. Could have taken money there if we'd taken the Searing Blow. Alright, we've successfully made it to the shop. And what do we see? An early Hand of Greed is interesting. An early Molten Egg is very interesting. Some decent potions. Discovery. Hmm. Do you like me a clockwork souvenir? Souvenir could let us take a flex and be very happy with it. Egg and fairy? I wish we could afford that. It's not not to be, though. Not to be. Does an egg let us rest? Yeah, an egg lets us do that pretty happily. Like, we can take two upgraded attacks here, rest here, and then just try to clobber our way through the rest of the act, relying on the sustain from burning blood and the upgrades from the from the egg. That's pretty good. Red egg for red man. If we were fighting Slime Boss, I'd be more interested in Combust, maybe. If there was a flex in the shop, I could get behind Clockwork Souvenir. Yeah, Egg Remove feels pretty good. Egg, just remove another strike. If we're getting a, a Molten Egg, we can remove every strike, because we're going to just keep adding attack after attack after attack. Followed by not finding any attacks. Even that would be fine, right? Hand of Greed Blues. I could also just, like, buy Thunderclap Plus or Boomerang Plus, but... Or I could buy a Potion. I'm just going to opt for another strike remove here. 
Onwards. To small slime land. Where I'll take a bunch of damage. Ouch. Very funny, Spire. How bad would it be to have one Clash Plus, anyway? I've got a headbutt? I'm willing to take one and only one of these. Let's do it. <laughs> Already it can't do anything. Very typical Clash. Very typical. But will it pay off later? Theoretically, a zero-cost deal 18 card. Clash, of course, only works if there's only attacks in your hand, which is definitely easier said than done. Boomerang Plus. Take spot weakness for Shockwave, too. But I think we want the, with the Flex Potion, I think we want the multi-hit card. If I want to fight this elite, I pretty much can't take either of these. Okay. And I am going to rest here, I think. We could upgrade Bash um, or Headbutt, but I think I'll just rest. I could also opt not to fight this elite. Just keep going combats, but eh, I think we'll do it. Okay, I'll try to start out with Bash. It's a pretty good hand, actually, but not with the Ascender's Bane coming up. This would be a good turn for Flex Potion. Flex Potion, Bash, Sword, Boomerang deals pretty absurd damage. Gets us started quite nicely on this fight. We're realistically not going to make it through this fight without a potion use. Um, I guess I could maybe do slightly better on a future turn, but it's pretty unlikely. Ah, it would have been better on this turn, but like I said, I don't think it actually matters that much. Start to kill. I assume I'll take 10 more next turn. Yeah. Good work, Clash. You did it. Get a paper frog making enemies that are vulnerable take additional damage. We get a fire potion for damage to a particular target and three upgraded attacks. Body slam plus, whirlwind plus, or twin strike plus. I'm thinking whirlwind here, but all are pretty good. Aya Jenke says, I feel like you're more likely than the other Spire streamers to mix things up and try out funky cards to try and make them work. Do I think that has culminated in this streak? I think that making many, many poor, weird choices over the course of many years has helped me figure out how to, how to string the wins together indeed. I do think my so-called wacky play style has quite a lot to do with it indeed. Kill one, take a little bit, take four. Clash value, this will do 27. Good job, Clash. Warcry actually pretty good with Clash. Bloodletting is tempting. But I, I really, for this deck right here, I like a war cry. Draw one, put a card on top. Just a little bit of manipulation for the deck, but it's got a surprisingly good purpose to it. Uh, which is to let us put the Ascender's Bane or the Clash on top. It also lets us draw the headbutted card if we need it immediately. 
Don't need a block card to deal with Guardian, though. Ooh, Iron Wave Plus is a block card. There's also Feel No Pain, which is very tempting to pick up now. But I'll be danged if that isn't a really good Iron Wave Plus. Who am I, Eric? Thanks for giving us up to Spire Info. Spire Info Bot, welcome to the Cozy Sub Club. Feel no pain for the sentries. Oh, we're fine on the sentries fight. I've got a whirlwind and a fire potion. I'm taking this iron wave. percent of our health. Yeah, all right. Now I can take the feeling of pain. Easy. Thunderclap Paper Frog also pretty good. But I'm going to take the feeling of pain now. This is less than ideal. That's feeling of pain though. We should be fine. Is there a list of mods we run? Yes, exclamation point mods. Has got it. Do I feel the need to fire potion here? I don't, honestly. Roll in for two. Take 13. Or do I want to headbutt the iron wave? So much damage loss. Let's just do this. Had to knew that was going to happen. Hmm. Maybe I needed that damage after all. Boomerang, save me! Thank you! Save my fire potion. coming up. Pennib! Every tenth attack we play is doubled in damage. And there's the True Grit. Now we have a uh, Feel No Pain, so the True Grit's really good. We get to upgrade the True Grit right before Guardian, so we can use Guardian uh, True Grit against Guardian to make sure that fight's nice and comfortable. It's also Hemokinesis Plus, if we want a real slapper of a card. I think True Grit Plus also combos quite nicely with uh, the Clash. And worst case scenario, we can use the True Grit to destroy the Clash. Hoping we find a second wind or even, yes, a Sever Soul to work with this Clash. I'm not taking your stinky deal, sir. Got one more elite to fight. The Gremlin Knob is here. Just go bash Iron Wave. This should be easy with a Fire Potion. Three strikes ain't glorious, but it will be victorious. We didn't draw the Ascender's Bane with the Clash. That's actually the more important thing here. Should he use the Thorns Potion? No, that's fine. We'll just Fire Potion you. Stinky Grumlin Nub. Or a Calcum, if we end our turn without any block, gain six. Offered a Blood for Blood plus a Demon Form or a Flex. It's actually not the world's worst Demon Form. Hmm.
We've got good attacks for it to go with. Very bad with Clash, notably. Good attacks to go with it. And it's it's nice with Orichalcum, too. Gives us an easy answer to Champ. Makes a Snekawai a very good pickup. What I like about Demon Form is it gives us a, a long-term answer to boss fights. Makes us really happy with a Reaper. Got some really good reasons to want Demon Form. I'm going to take it. But I'm going to upgrade the True Grit over the Demon Form. Going into Guardian here. Dash plus pen nibbed ding will do triple damage plus two strength. Um, so let's see. Bash strike would be 24. Hmm. Worst case scenario is I take 30 and I still have demon form in play. That's not a bad worst case scenario. It's actually better to play nothing. Let the Orichalcum do the work here. Get him, Clash. Bonk. Probably immolate over bludgeon. Massive area damage with a free upgrade is going to let us obliterate enemies in Act 2. Most assuredly. The burns could be a little annoying, especially with the Clash, but we'll probably pick up cards to exhaust those anyway. And... Hmm. Been a weird series of runs for boss relics. Probably taking the Collar or the Choker here. Collar says, extra energy during boss and elite fights. Whirlwind for the elites will be pretty good. I like uh, Choker to help us play Demon Form, too. Uh, Color that is, not choker. Regular old velvet choker is also reasonable here. Limits us to six cards per turn, but we get more energy every single turn. I gotta tell you, of all the cards, demon form is one of the best with velvet choker. Currently, we don't have a lot of reason to want to play more than six cards per turn. That can definitely change in an iron clatter run. Which makes me want to take Slaver's Collar, especially since I already have a Feel No Pain. There's a lot of zero cost exhausting skills. So I think I'd rather take Collar over Choker. With Orichalcum, we should be able to make the Collar work too. This will get free block during the regular fights. I'm, I'm a little afraid of, of sacking my ability to play too many cards. Elite layout this act looks uh, questionable. I like this elite. I like these question mark nodes. Something like this. Maybe take, let's mark this in red. Green here. Maybe too many events for the overall act. Maybe I should have taken the tiny chest after all, huh? 
Going for the Burning Elite on the left side seems problematic. There is a three Elite Path on the far left, but it looks kind of spooky. Bronze Automaton at the end of the act is so definitely a good fight for our demon form. Hmm. This is just a pure damage race against this foe. Seems pretty difficult to accomplish. Take Iron Wave for next turn. Play the Whirlwind or play the Feel No Pain in the Whirlwind. Eight less damage. I think we play the damage. Do you defend, defend, Iron Wave Clash or Iron Wave Immolate? Ten less damage to play the Clash. I think we need the more damage here. Thirty-six. Can I do thirty-six with the pen nib? Maybe. Seems like the answer is probably no, huh? Oh, that looks like a maybe. Nine plus twenty-four plus six. Thirty-nine. Yeah, thirty-nine. Okay, we're good. But I did. Notably, we had to put in every ounce of damage that we had. So if I if I'd played the feel no pain, we would have not been able to get this kill. So that highlighted how important that little decision on turn one was. Another way to gain strength. That's going to be a yes for me. Spot weakness requires an enemy to be attacking, but is otherwise super worth it. What about brimstone? Brimstone doesn't require an enemy to be attacking. Go for Brimstone on run number 20. Double Feel No Pain makes it feel fairly safe. It's also Fiend Fire. Might be better to go Fiend Fire over Brimstone if I could only afford one of the two. And then I could go Fiend Fire, Double Feel No Pain. Maybe that's more comfortable. So this relic here, Brimstone, says at the end of start of your turn, gain two strength and all enemies gain one strength. Very, very, very powerful effects. Although a little risky, giving enemies strength every turn can certainly backfire, but if you've got enough attack power yourself, it's super worth it. That said, Fiendfire Feel No Pay, number two, is very strong. So I'm considering that. Take that. Means we're two gold short of a card remove, sadly, but I'll just keep the rest of the money. Not gonna get deep breath or secret tech. Or a potion? What about a swift potion? No, we're good, we're good. Nerds! The Red Mask Gang offer us their red mask. Applying one week on turn one, it's good stuff. 39 damage. So I can kill Romeo, not Bear, but kill Romeo on turn one. Or I can kill Pointy and not take any damage. I'd rather kill Romeo turn one. Romeo, no! Romeo must die. Ray Romero. Ouch. We gotta kill Bear next turn. This turn's gonna hurt a bit. Um, put the True Good on stop, make the Strike Strike feel no pain? Yeah. Take 16. Killing Romeo is essential to not getting weakened on this turn. Oh, shoot. You gotta be kidding me. Really? All of my damage on the bottom. Bummer. This is only 21. Not enough to kill Bear, meaning we eat a whole bunch of damage to the face. That means Green Path is 1,000% happening here. That's a real bummer. That's a real bummer.
At least we block for a bit. Should be able to get them both on this turn, yeah. Okay, that was a bit more painful than I anticipated, but our rewards are pretty good. I'm thinking it is high time for a thunderclap, as we currently don't have a way to apply extra vulnerable to enemies. That'll do just fine. Goes, go, goes well with our strength gain as well. well. Let's take two events here. First up, choose one of 20 cards to add to the deck. I'd love any kind of major exhaust effect. We could also take the heal 15 here, but that feels unnecessary. I like the current path a lot. Disarm is here, Shockwave is here, Second Wind is here. These are all very, very good. Shockwave might be the best. Second Clash. Rampage is here. Two Clash, two Furious. Disarm's not very good against this boss. There's a good reason not to take it. Take the Shockwave. Oof. Well, good thing I was about to rest anyway. Ouch. My health points. And now, bird nerds. It's not actually going to knock them any out of the air at all, huh? Hmm. I may wish to use the liquid bronze. Although it's going to be full damage, 11 by 3. No, 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 it's kill. It's guaranteed kill. No need to potion here. Potion will be complete waste. Clothesline upgraded. If I hadn't taken a shockwave, I might consider clothesline. Armaments to upgrade cards, not that important. We're about to get a few important upgrades anyway. And the Molten Egg ensures a lot of stuff is upgraded. So no thank you. Warcry, Demon Form, Feel No Pain, Spot Weakness are all reasonable upgrades. I may choose to rest again here. Just for lots of health going into the final gauntlet. Upgrade Demon Form before the boss. Upgrade one of our Feel No Pains now. Let's do one of the Feel No Pains now. Get ourselves a mighty relic. That relic is the potion belt, giving us more potion slots. And yeah, I'll sleep. So now we have four energy per turn. We're going to be weakened next turn. Let's do the damage while we can. Do I employ the liquid bronze here? I do. We need every little bit of damage we can get. I guess I could put the Boomerang on top, but then I'm wasting the Thunderclap. I could put the Thunderclap on top. Let's do that. Get him. Thunderclap, Fiendfire. Perfect. So that's already super duper lethal. Could allow myself to become vulnerable, kind of assume I'm going to get a kill next turn. Seems pretty unlikely, though, so let's not assume that. Yeah, let's not assume that. Dang. 
Close, but no cigar. May have to rest one more time before the boss. I was really hoping to upgrade demon form. Forty-six doesn't quite feel like enough health. Oh, okay. We have enough health. Almost strike plus for draw two. Yep. I'll take that. Oh, in an abandoned temple, you find a giant book open, riddled with cryptic writings. Costs 21 health to get one of three book relics, each of which are powerful in their own right. What do we get? The Enchilada gives us a random power card for free on turn one. Not what we're looking for necessarily, but pretty good. I'll take two more events rather than two more combats. Is that true? Not good reason to want the fights, don't I? I've got even better reason to want the events. Upgrade all of our strengths and defends, or remove one card. Defend upgrades are rather nice, makes them better than the Auric Alchem. Removal's pretty good, though. Seven upgrades currently. Or one remove. I'll take the seven upgrades. Last event is just a fight. A fight with barricade versus barricade. The rebarricadening. Problem is, what do you do when your barricade doesn't do anything? Because your enemies are dead. What do you do then? Alright, Bronze Automaton, basically we just play Demon Form and we should win after that. Uh, we, I think we want to be able to survive the Hyper Beam, so rather than upgrading this Demon Form, I'm going to rest one more time. As you can see by the unupgraded cards in the deck, we're way ahead on upgrades. Seven unupgraded cards out of 25. I'm cool with a third rest this act. It's really not that big a deal. We do get a Dark Embrace for this fight, and turn one Demon Form. Maybe I could have upgraded Demon Form after all. Let's draw one. You're gonna steal one of my rares, either the Fiend Fire or the Immolate goes into this orb's hands. Shall not allow it. True get the defend, let's me play Clash, or I could just lose Fiend Fire, draw three. Losing True Grit seems unprincipled. Fair enough. Use it now? Could be so much more powerful later. I think I just want to get rid of Clash, though. Like I said, all we need was a Demon Form in play. in play. Weak and vulnerable. Uh, give me the clap. Should have played the... Weakness next turn will guarantee I live. Okay. I really want to be able to pen nib the sword boomerang, but if I pummel strike, I might ruin that. Still do it. Good. So sword boomerang deals a mere 56 damage four times. Good job, sword boomerang. You did it.
Thanks, Pennib. So, we're being offered an upgraded feed. That's pretty juicy. Feed allows us to gain max health by eating foes. Really good way to scale up for the late game. There's also Limit Break, allowing us to double our strength. Problem is, initial strength comes from either Demon Form or Spot Weakness, neither of which are sufficiently reliable for my tastes. So I'm more leaning towards a feed here. Certainly not going to take two emulates. Yeah, let's take a feed. Can we? Will we? How's it be? We do! We do get a very good boss relic in the form of Sneko Eye. Third of our turn, draw two extra cards, but we're confused, meaning all of our cards will be random cost. Now, for some of our cards, this will be bad, like the Warcry and the Clash. But for the Demon Form, the Immolate, the Fiend Fire, the Shockwave, and many other things, Sneko Eye is amazing here, giving us two extra draw while also making our cards random cost. Now, we could run into some problems with Sneko Eye. We're four energy during boss and elite fights, but only three base energy during hallway combats. That means that the hallway combats of Act 3 have actually a reasonable chance of being quite risky for us. So I'd like to not go to too many of them. Yeah, give me some uppercuts, eh? Consider one of these two lines, depending. And then, what about here? Early shop look good. Let's let's do this. Let's think about it. So, what are we missing to beat Act Four? Corruption. If I if I could add only one card to prepare for Act Four, it'd be corruption. And heck, the Incaridian might even just provide me free corruption. So that'd be cool. Gaining a bunch of max health might also just be what we need. And that'd be cool too. But yeah, sometimes this will happen and there's not much I can do about it. We just don't have the block yet. Ouch. Block nine, take 20 here. Wouldn't say that's exactly my favorite thing to do, but it's where we're at. Sneko almost always requires an initial price. These Darklings are really nasty as the first fight of Act 3, so it's a confluence of factors here. That's how I would describe this. Kill you. I can't play the feed. We'll be back for that feed. I assure you. Playable Clash. to one. Let me get some of this health back with the feed. Four from eating, six from our relic. So we took 20, gained 10 back. That's not so bad. Pummel strike, spot weakness, or thunder clap. I could take another spot. I don't really feel like I need any of this though. Show me the merchant instead. The merchant with a preserved insect. Saying enemies in elite combats have less health. Could also see buying a fairy in a bottle, given that we have A, a lot of max health, B, a potion belt. Then a potion that lets us hold on to something valuable is pretty good. I think I should also consider paying out for a card removal here, though. This is not a drill. This is not a vase. Have I ever taken hand drill? A couple of times. I've never been impressed by it. 
Removing Fairy is definitely something I like, actually. Third Feel No Pain, pretty appealing too, quite frankly. Well, maybe not for 88 gold. Maybe we end up going this way, we'll see. Although if I'm not gonna buy, how many actual elites do I wanna fight? Not that many. I don't know that I need the preserved insect. Let's get rid of Clash. Sorry, Clash. I actually really like this fairy. I'm gonna buy it. Let the eatening begin. Strike Whirlwind? That's one short, actually. I could Boomerang, but that seems idiotic. Immolate Sword Boomerang was the play. Ow? Feels like Ow. Considering now Fire Potion. It's not even that good a potion. It's nice for a Repto Dagger, but eh. Let's do it this way. I'll eat this biker. Eat this biker. Be this biker. what I learned. Simply terrifying. Looks like I'll have to take some damage to resolve this. Seems at large impossible otherwise. Pot, which is very valuable indeed. Do I want this clothesline? I don't think so. I don't think so. All right, I'm gonna slow down a little bit here. I'm getting fatigued, I can tell. So hard to stay focused for so long. Feeds. I 
upgrades that are still important. Demon form needs an upgrade. I would like to upgrade Shockwave too, realistically. Take less relics for that to happen. Yes, okay. A glowing Tesseract. Apotheosis would be moderately welcome. There's a couple of colorless cards I'd like. Have a look-see here. None of these. None of these. This one. Upgrade our demon form. We'll recall it this fire, and then we decide if we need to rest later on. We have fairy in bottles, no matter what happens. Alright, these jerks again. Hello, fools. Okay, just gotta be actually mindful of the spiker. Be careful. They are tricky. That's what I learned. They're tricky. Each card I exhaust is another card drawn. I do defend, immolate, just leave the spiker alive? Let's do that. Alright, just take nine for the feed, or do I try to go around again, like before? I think we can go around again, with the Dark Embrace and most of the deck missing. Okay, that's a little better. We'll take that. Lock potion. More uninteresting attacks. Okay, I'm gonna recall, I'm gonna grab the ch treasure out of this chest, and then I'm gonna take a short break. Boot the gear. Block on turn three. You love to see it. I think we're ready for the elite here. We missed out on the first elite that we were thinking about taking. We've got good potions. We've got a good deck. And we've got a zero cost turn one demon form. That looks pretty good to me. Feel no pain, feel no pain, feel no pain. Demon form, whirlwind. Doesn't get much better than that. Does not get much better than that. Keep the snack vulnerable. Bonk. Get 18 block this turn. Casually draw, immolate, feed, and feed and fire. Feed does 31. 22. Is that enough? Got four energy? Yeah, that'll that'll feed. Excellent fight, Reptomancer. We get a magic flower, which says healing is 50% more effective during combat. That means a couple of things. One, we now heal nine at the start of at the end of combat with burning blood. We now heal six when we land feed. And when Fairy the Bottle goes off, it's gonna be 45% of our max health. That's pretty sweet. I'll take an energy potion over a liquid bronze. We're not gonna need liquid bronze against heart. Oh! Also, we can duplicate a card in the deck. My nomination, Demon Form Plus. Shockwave is also reasonable. Feel No Pain Plus is a little overkill. Bean Fire is reasonable too. Let's do Double Demon Form. Is this our first boss? Yeah, don't need deck out. Let's do Double Demon Form. Triple Demon Form. The Reformation. Or something. Do 
Chimney Criminy, give me the healing. Six plus nine, plus a regen potion, which is a ton more, plus an exhume, letting us get a back card from the exhaust pile. Actually, wait. Heavy Blade Plus. Take that instead. I actually don't think we take this regen potion either. I think we're healing to full. Nemesis. Ooh. It's worth playing this. Skipping out on um, Iron Wave, it is. Could block potion, but eh. This is fine. Waste the pen nib, but we do pull the lock. I'll take it. We got kid. No big spooky attacks, thanks. You're at 71. Delicious! We get a red skull giving us bonus strength below half health. Could take another iron wave plus. Honestly, just feeling pretty good with 110 max health here. Yeah, one last fight. It's against this nerd, who could certainly be a problem for us. Just gonna let the... Or a Calcum take things away here. My main goal in this fight, don't get cursed. If we can get four max health, that'd be great. But it's not the top priority. Top priority is don't get a curse. Also, don't get absolutely destroyed. That's the other goal. That I forgot to mention. Don't get absolutely bonked. That's better. Energy potion here, or I can just take nine. Let's take the nine. Good. Okay. Um, Pendib's on eight. Probably just kill it next turn. Panic button. Makes that a bit unreliable, though. Question of how much more am I willing to take to try to... Here's a better question. What am I upgrading at that fire? Shockwave or feel no pain? Probably shockwave. Okay, I'll upgrade shockwave at the fire. Let's just take three, then. Give myself the chance to... A four, excuse me. Give myself the chance to block this if I need to, or we can just try to kill. This would be 56 times 2. Yeah, Iron Wave Whirlwind kills. I'm cool with that. Or if you turn this into the weakest attack, which you did. Then I can look for feed. Remember, feed heals us for 6. If we can land it. Looks like that's a no, unfortunately. We can't. All right, well, then you're dead. And strike, body slam, clothesline, pass. New, no, thank you. All right, that wasn't perfect, but I think we have enough health and lots of really good potions here. That we should be in pretty dang good shape. All we ostensibly need to do against these two. Let's get our demon forms in play. It's a relatively stinky fiendfire draw. Just 
True Grit defend, take a little bit, block. Hmm. Not my greatest start, but I'll take it. At least the days that Deca add will be quite useful to us overall. Ouch. This could be time for the block potion. Vamos! Thank you. Welcome to the list of channel cuties. That's a heck lot of channel points. Welcome, welcome. Get you at it right now. Good news is we got a lot of help. This is Demon Form Defend Block Potion. Demon Form Shockwave Block Potion. Probably Shockwave Block Potion's better. Play both of these. We're gonna go for Donu first here. Turn looking pretty good. Do I emulate? Barely seems worth it, actually. Ooh, yeah. We are having a hard time here. Hmm. Sneko is cruel today. I panic button, I have to kill Decca next turn? That's impossible. Dare. Get out of here, don't you? You are not welcome in my town. Team inform, please. Thank you, brave demon form. Speed we probably don't get to do, but there's so few cards in the deck, it's worth a shot. It's not like if the damage goes up on Decca every turn or anything. A hundred and fifty damage pommel strike. Even strike does too much damage. Incredible. Heavy Blade does four hundred and eighteen damage. Delicious. All right, we get our four max health plus the 15 end of combat health, bringing us to 72, which should be plenty for the next elite fight. As long as the Sneko Eye is even at all reasonable. Please tell me it's, ah, it's not Time Eater. It's the other one, but we drew both Demon Forms cheap on turn one. So here's my proposal. We play them both and we race the hell out of this fight. Debog asks, is it the rerun? No, you're looking at live, an attempt to get 20 
consecutive wins against the Ascension 20 Heart and Slay the Spire. Live, I tell you. 21, 17, 8. Only 46. That won't be enough. But prove it's not a rerun. Oh. Well, actually. Oh, you know what I should have done with Spot Weakness first instead of this demon form? Then I would have gotten it right. Shoot. Oh well, I'll just play double demon form. It's fine. What about Barricade? Barricade's not going to get played, is it? Well, maybe it should. I think it should. Which more inclines me to go defend Trugrit here. be over quickest if I play two demon forms. Let's just do this for now. Should have fed right away though. turn looks spooky as hell. Thankfully, we have Captain's Wheel coming in. I get to headbutt. Feed? Pommel strike? Deeply unclear. Headbutt feed. Feel no pain, headbutt feed. Take a lot of damage. Take 30, go to 29. It's a little spooky. We are gaining a lot of strength per turn, though. And we still have a fairy in a bottle. That's right. said, don't kill me. Could use the energy potion here. Shockwave, feed, fiend fire. Definitely shockwave first. How much damage will fiend fire do? 43 per, not enough. Yeah, I'll use the potion here. block that. Panic button heavy blade seems reasonable. Never die next turn with this. You can set pen nib to the right number here. Come on, heavy blade redraw. Yeah, 298. Oh, it's not enough. Wait, spot weakness. 328. Well, bonk. GG Awakened One. All right, a spooky fight, but we kept, most importantly, the two most valuable potions. I'm going to rest up to full HP before the shop, and we're going to replace the missing potions at the shop, leading us to be mighty strong indeed. To thump, to thump, to thump, a deep pulsing dread can be felt throughout the room is this. The heart of the spire, the source of all this demon formation. Oh no, not the purple key. Anything but that. <laughs> Two fire potions. I don't like this chat. I do like another fiend fire though. That seems pretty good. Second fiend fire will absolutely help. None of the other things are all that good. I mean, we could take the sling of courage to maybe make the elite fight go quicker. Sling of Courage Fire Potion is exactly 215 gold. 
Or we buy another Fiend Fire. I think Fiend Fire will be just as good for the elites with all these feel no pains. Fiend Fires are fantastic. Overall, not happy with this shop at all, though. I think we could have done a lot better than that. But, I do get a free corruption for this fight, so, eh, you know, you win some, you lose some. Do I want to try to double Iron Wave here? It's not unreasonable, actually. Now, let's see what the top card is first. Whirlwind, and everything else is zero cost? I mean, that's just awesome. I don't really want an Ascender's Bane next turn, though, huh? Put Heavy Blade on top. I also have to delete... No, I delete Ascender's Bane with one, and the last one is the last card that played. I could put a True Good on top, take some damage now. Let's me get rid of a Burn. Yeah, okay. I'm sold on that. Headbutt the True Grit. I'm gonna try to kill the Spire Shield first. The Whirlwind back. Snacker has been very, very generous this fight. Weak and Voln. So if I Voln Bash, Voln Feed, that won't be enough, right? No, it really won't. Looks like it didn't quite work out for me to kill the shield first. I think that ends up being okay, though. Fiendfire kills this nerd. We should be able to kill this shield next turn, too. Fiendfire, Fiendfire. Easy. We could pen him on nine. Bonus points if I can feed, though. I'd like the extra health more than I'd like the fiend fire. Doesn't matter. We get a boot thing here. 14 block on turn two. And I'm pretty okay with a flame barrier. Big block card works with corruption if we find one. Good damage back to the heart if we don't. Cool. I think we have plenty of health, really good potions. We're probably going to dupe pot, um, depending on the power the Incaridian gives. Fire breathing. Okay, we'll dupe pot demon form, this demon form, on turn one, and just have double demon form in play. Six strength per turn should mean this is a pretty short fight. Give me your energy, Twitch chat. Here's the heart fight for 20 in a row. I think our odds are pretty good here. I like our double boat thingies. I like our huge max health. Don't forget, Fairy in a Bottle is going to bring us back to 50 or so. Pretty exciting. Destroy one of these cards with True Grit so I don't draw it again. Ben Plus, you're out of here. Alright, six strength per turn. I don't think we can do much better than that. There's another demon form in the draw file still, too. It's even free. Good. Could headbutt Flame Barrier try to play it? Pretty difficult to do, though. It would have to be free, randomly. I like headbutting a Panic Button for next turn, actually. That'll save me a lot of health. Let's do that. Is 
worth playing this strike? I don't think it is. Panic button's technically only 22 block, huh? Oof. Alright, I'll just feel no pain shockwave that'll have to do. I'm not too worried here. Alright, it's time to deal some damage. Fiendfire pretty much caps us this turn. Deletes the Whirlwind. Do I want to get rid of a Whirlwind? Sure. Delete all of it. Glad we upgraded that Shockwave. Looks like we die here. We'll have a lot of health next turn. No biggie, no biggie. Dying isn't the worst thing that's ever happened to me. That's what the fairy in the bottle is for. And I just gotta survive this next turn. With 44 health, 35 damage incoming, pretty hard to not survive this. If I had to guess. Let's say we're in good shape here. 94 plus 94 will make it the full hundo. Go down to a tiny sliver of health here. We ended up needing just about every hit point we had, but dearest Twitch chat, that is 20 consecutive wins against the Ascension 20 heart in rotating style. GG. Hey there, if you enjoyed that video, watch this one next. And before you go, join us on Twitch and watch live. I'm there five days a week playing Slay the Spire, answering questions, and chilling with the community. Click the link in the description to follow right now. Ta-ta for now.